Bradley. You started? <laughs> yeah, didn't you hear the intro? I thought you were just watching more TikToks. Nope. Alright. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the R&B Podcast. The podcast where we talk about everything but R&B. He's Richard, I'm Bradley, and we are not playing the same game this episode. We're not. I'm playing Fortnite because I have a Fortnite Battle Pass. And I, I am playing World War Z because I really like it. Holy fuck, I only have... Oh my god, I'm not going to finish this shit. I only have today. <laughs> oh shit, that's a lot of zombies. Oh wait. Oh, I didn't see the eight days. Okay. Okay, I have, I have essentially a week. Okay. You got this. I believe in you. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck, I did. I thought I only had eight, uh, I had fucking today. I was just like, there's no fucking way. Holy shit, I wasted my money. Oh, honestly, I wasted past Richard's money because I was using all the V-Bucks. I see. But that would have been a waste of V-Bucks because yeah. all I would have had to do was buy another $10. I could have had Goku Black. Bruh. No Goku plaque, we're getting Darth Maul. Kenobi! Obi Juan Kenobi Juan. I had a friend in elementary school who thought, um. He thought Obi Wan Kenobi becomes Darth Vader. Bruh. These elementary school kids are pretty. So how have you been today? I, I, I think this week we've had like the least interaction. What the fuck is yeah. this battle bus? What do you mean? Execute order! The time has come! Execute order 66! Uh oh! What? Oh my god, I'm glad I chose to play Fortnite for this podcast. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? What do you mean, what does that mean? What does that mean for this match of Fortnite that I'm in? I don't know, kill all the Jedi? Survive clones trying to kill you because they think you're Jedi? That might be it. God, I love Clone Wars. Are mm -hmm. you still playing World War Z? Yeah. Oh look, I made a little friend. Uh, I landed the same spot as somebody else. Oh god. Nice. Now this is still a podcast, so we shouldn't be talking about what we're playing too much. I mean, Correct. I guess we could talk about about the games we're playing, but not about what we're doing in said games, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so Fortnite was made in- I'm joking. Uh, Fortnite was made in 2017 as a- Whoa! What the f- Oh yeah, Attack on Titan stuff. <laughs> this season has everything. It has Goku, Attack on Titan, it has uh, Star Wars. Yeah, what doesn't what doesn't that season have? Marvel right now, I guess. That's funny, considering how many times I see Marvel stuff in the store whenever I played Fortnite. Cause I think you were playing during like the Marvel season. Probably. I remember the first Marvel event. That shit was epic. It was during what was the first Marvel event? It was it was during Infinity War, and oh. um, so there'd be this one game. Where, like, one person is Thanos and everybody else is just their normal Fortnite character. Oh, I remember it now! Yeah. It was, it was a pretty fun game mode. I don't know why they haven't brought back game modes like that. And so, like, whoever kills Thanos becomes Thanos. And I guess your goal is to either try to survive Thanos or... Uh, K uh, become Thanos and yeah. survive as Thanos. I don't think I'll ever get tired of seeing a zombie ragdoll. 
You know, when I used to play games, I specifically used to play to watch, uh, like, like violent games. I, I specifically, like, looked for ragdoll in. Really? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. That was too close. Yeah, I would, I would look at every dead body just to see what, what position they lay in. As the final <laughs> uh, I, I think that's psychotic behavior, but, I mean, it's what I did. Well, at least he didn't, like, I don't know. Do it in real life? That, yeah. <laughs> or microwave mice. I don't think I was fast enough to catch a mouse. I, I still don't think I'd be fast enough to catch a mouse. Drink uh, some what do you think you what, what do you think you could catch if you had to? Uh, I would like to square off with a raccoon. <laughs> a raccoon? Oh, by the way, Bradley, did you watch the new Guardians of the Galaxy film? Yes, I did, actually. I loved it. Surprisingly, so did I. Really? Yeah. Come on, Darth Maul, show me the ways of the dark side. Literally the dark side. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> Every couple of weeks, I forget that clip exists. So I have the double jump, typical, and then I have... It's called the forest jump. Um, kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. And um, I believe with Darth Maul's lightsaber you can throw rocks at people. Really? Yeah. Find that a little weird. You get the, the force whole... throw. Yeah. Oh no God, oil standing like still in this room is two shots on me. <laughs> oh, is it NPCs? I'm not talking like bots, like fucking like shit players that the inputs in, but like I think like legitimate like NPCs. I oh, see. I think Order 66 is being executed, maybe. Oh? Yeah, I see people shooting Ooh. laser guns and shit. Yeah. Okay, I need to get the fuck out of here. Okay, yeah, I died to the NPCs. They, they do so much damage. They have gold weapons and shit. What? <laughs> Yeah. Oh god. That's some shit you need to do with like a squad. Anyways, here's John Wick with a lightsaber while we uh, while we wait for our next match. And we're already breaking the rule of playing different games while podcasting. Yeah, yeah we are. Eh, who cares? It's our podcast. It, it is. It, I, I, I care. Budget. I care. Okay, um, fair enough. Guardians. Yes, I love the movie. Uh, spoiler alert. Spoiler you... alert for Guardians of the Galaxy. If you haven't watched it, stop watching this episode. Go get some tickets, watch the movie, come back. Yes. Hopefully, if Richard doesn't do anything, this episode will still be here when you get back. It should be. Bit Richard's dead, remember? It sure he is. <laughs> He's actually in jail in Minecraft right now, so... <laughs> I love how, like, the in Minecraft thing is just completely unintentional yet. I mean... You know, because, like, the whole threat thing. You, you, you can say you did it in GTA, especially if you're talking about, like, committing crimes in your car. Oh, yeah, I, ran, I uh, completely just vehicularly manslaughtered thousands of people in GTA yesterday. I, I wonder what my uh, NPC kill count is. I'm, I'm talking like non non hostile NPCs. I'm I'm talking. Oh, maybe. Oh. Maybe it does say, but uh. Probably not. I just know that there's some games that do that, like uh. Fallout I think GTA 4. does give you stats and and like of like NPCs you've killed and how many players you've killed. 
how many, how many life sentences you does your character should be serving right now? Honestly, I don't think uh, my character would be serving any life sentences. How many times should he have been killed already via the death penalty? Yeah, but he kind of well, my character kind of gives himself his own death penalty. I don't think that counts. Because he suicide bombs. <laughs> he does. I know he does. There's plenty of clips of me doing it in 2020. Oh, oh, they might be private at this point, actually. But there used to be a bunch of clips of me doing this shit. Oh, what's up, Pablo? This this is the R&B forecast. Paulo called us losers. Can you believe that, man? Bruh, what are you talking about? I don't even see his chat in, like, the actual chat. Really? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I think you're, like, going loony. I'm not going loony. I'm not going wacky. I'm not insane. I'm not... Well, maybe I am, but besides the point. <laughs> right now, I'm going to the choral chorus. For the funny. Oh yeah, I forgot. I put my music volume all the way down because I didn't want to. I didn't want to ruin the whoa. Or I didn't want to ruin the the down. I see. Yeah, so my music's all the way down. That's why I can't hear them right now. I think Coral I... Chorus is the best thing I've ever heard. Is that so? Yeah. Sometimes I'll get in my car and I'll put it on. Whoa. 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 It's just so fire. It's almost as good as one, two, buckle my shoes. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, oh, you see, you collabed with, Mr. with the internet's favorite, uh favorite philanthropist Mr. Beast bruh what did he do they just got together and they sang the song bruh but but they changed That's up the, it. they changed up the lyrics ever so slightly one huh. two buckle my shoes three four buckle some more five six Mr. Beast kicks no Yes. Don't tell me he has his own shoes now. No, he doesn't have his own shoes. He, he was just wearing like whatever pair of Nikes he had on, and then he put the little fucking paper cutout buckle over him. Oh my god. What the fuck? Legendary assault rifle? Oh boy. Man, I oh, believe I trapped gone... myself. I believe he's gotten himself in some hot waters for helping uh, amputee people. Or something. Jesus I don't know, whoever Christ. else he helped. Uh, I've been watching a lot, of, a lot of the Mr. Beast uh, videos and um, this guy is poverty touring. He's just going to poor countries and filming them. Which... Uh, Yes-ish? Okay. But no. Your, po your point being? Yes, he is going to poor countries and filming them. Yes, lots of, lots of stuff do that. Tell your 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 uh, your feed the starving African children commercials from the regular TV do that. Yeah, they do. You're uh, got I can't. There's so many. I can't think of a single one to single out for this example. What would you do if there was a child right in front of you? <laughs> classic, <laughs> classic meme, classic meme. It comes from one of those. Mm -hmm. Have you or your parents ever uh, gave money to the starving children in Africa? Oh shit! No. I got jump scared by the storm. Yeah, jump scared by the storm. How? I was opening a chest and the storm just whooshed in and stopped right in front of me. Hold on, I'm gonna. 
Okay, it's coming up on the stream right now. I see it. <laughs> okay, I can see it. <laughs> I, can, I can see how that could be the, uh, the storm jump scare. Yeah, that show was scary. Holy shit, I almost shit myself. By the way, this event doesn't make any sense. How so? It's uh, adult Anakin and adult uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. But Darth Maul is alongside them. I don't see the confusion. Should he not be dead by the time Anakin's an adult? No? He, he's not? Oh yeah, you didn't watch the Clone Wars! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I remember now. That I know, was I alive! Remember. Yeah. I mean, bro. I mean, bro. Is Clone Wars canon to the current Star Wars universe? Yes. It, okay. it very much is. It is? Okay. Like, there is no way someone could look at the whole, like, Star Wars franchise and say the Clone Wars is, is not canon. That's like saying N Nico isn't a love life character. Okay. But she's not. She's a Studio <laughs> Ghibli character. <laughs> yeah, they crossed over with. Yes, and Goku isn't homophobic. Do you think Goku's actually homophobic? No. Just, you know, that stupid clip. Oh, yeah, another thing um, podcasts are having a bad rep for being sexist towards women. Yeah, so let's small not podcasts. be sexist towards women. Have you seen like the um, like those podcasts? Where they'll they'll essentially gather like a huge group of women, probably influencer women, and just essentially harass them the whole fucking podcast. What like fresh and fit? I think there's one called. It's, uh, Charlie was talking. Uh, Moist critical Charlie was talking about it the other day. Uh, I think Zero. it was fresh and fit. It wasn't fresh and fit. It, it, it wants to be fresh and fit. Oh. Uh, I Is think it, it was like called like the... they all sound the same to me? I think it was like called like the uh, uncensored podcast or the... Something along the lines of being like based. I, okay. Again, like... Uh, fuck, I forgot yeah, what it was I called. Could, I'm not really a fan of those either. Get the fuck out of here, you stupid fucking default. <laughs> Damn, you're being racist towards defaults now? Get the fuck out of here, you stupid fucking streamer. Oh my god. Anonymous 2458. Oh no, bro. Nobody knows who you are with or without that anonymous fucking tag. Do you think stream sniping is bad? Uh, yes. Really? I mean, you're just cheating. I, I think that shit's funny, man. It's funny, yeah, but it's still cheating. Nah. Like, yeah, you could just snip off the wire to a wired controller to get your opponent to stop playing. It's funny, but like... But, like, let's say Ninja is playing Fortnite, and mm -hmm. you decide to hop on Fortnite, and you find Ninja, and you fuck with him. I mean, do you think that's grounds for banning people? I, this is, this is a really old story. Uh, this is a really old story. Is it but, grounds for banning people? Uh, yeah, like, like reporting people on Fortnite so they don't, they don't play anymore. Uh, no. I wouldn't say it's, like, ban-worthy. Honestly, I, I like I, I remember just Ninja being like extremely mad about it. Oh no! Why were so many people stream sniping him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think anybody who emoted on him after killing him he was like, "Oh, stream sniper! He's a stream sniper!" Like they're not a stream sniper for emoting on you, Ninja. They're just playing the game. They're just playing the game. 
The emotes are in there to make fun of the people you kill. Like, imagine getting killed and get hit the greedy on. That shit's hilarious. Yeah. Or imagine killing somebody and hitting the greedy on them. That is also hilarious. That is indeed hilarious. Let me see what the name of this fucking podcast was. Where, uh... Let's see. Moist Critical... Oh, wait. Penguin Zero? Videos. Oh, it was called the Unfiltered Podcast. Huh. Because of you, you get to share your unfiltered opinion, except for when you don't get to. <laughs> except for when it's not uh, anything that red pilled people would agree with. So here's what. Here's what the issue with that podcast was. So, uh, right. it's a podcast that brings a bunch of women, probably influencers or Instagram models, whatever. Not, not anything really, really worth, like, mentioning what they are. I, I have no idea who these women are. And towards the end of the podcast, I guess he does this, uh, like, every podcast, like, he just brings a bunch of women, harasses them for, like, an hour and a half or some shit. And at the end of the day, what uh... The hell? At the end, he was just like, "All right, all right, rate us based off a of look. Rate us based off of looks." One of the girls gets him, gives him a two, and he gets so mad he kicks her off the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ! Imagine having that fragile of an eagle, bro. Yeah, he started calling her like a stupid bitch and getting just straight up like, straight up sexist. I mean, there's no other way I mean, around it. It's yeah, at least he's being true of, like, being unfiltered, or uncensored, or whatever. Uh, I would argue that he's not being true to being un unfiltered. Because she wasn't allowed to give her unfiltered opinion, therefore she got kicked off the cast. Yeah, but, like, it's not like he's trying to hide the fact that he that he kicked, them off the, kicked her off the cast. Oh, no, no, he kicked her off, like, on, I don't know if they do that shit live, or if it's pre-recorded, but, it, uh... Whether it's edited or pre-recorded or live streamed, they kept that in there, so. I see. Yeah, like, he would be like, alright, rate us based off of looks. And so they'd rate him, his co-host, and his, and his producer. And yeah, it was basically just... Anytime, like, a, a woman rated him pretty low, he just... Oh! What happened? Fortnite moment. Um, oh, there's more Fortniteers over here. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Did you just refer to them as Fortniteers? Yeah. What else I, I refer I, to them as? Yeah, I, I rarely hear you say that. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I guess you really don't, like, I well, obviously you haven't Fortnite really seen gamer, me at work too yeah. often, but like uh, sometimes I'll be like, "Oh, sup, Fortniteers?" at work. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I talk about Fortnite a lot at work, even though I don't play it. Now, I have a couple <laughs> of coworkers that do actually play a lot of Fortnite, and they they think I play it a lot because how much I I talk about Fortnite. Like I don't play this game for shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, uh, anything, uh, funny happened at work? No. No funnies? No funnies at work, it's been pretty... Pretty boring lately. Uh, any update on you actually quitting though? Uh, I've applied to a bunch of places and, uh... I want my last day to be tomorrow, but... I don't know if Bye. I try to get, if I should get a job first or if I should... Uh, great, because... Oh, God. Because what? God damn it. So, as for getting a... Uh, I want to give you a mock interview. Okay, just know I don't take mock interviews seriously at all. 
perfect. That is perfect for this podcast. Okay. I have here a list of questions that I'm going to ask you. Uh, you prepared for this? Yes. I have a physical paper right here. Okay. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm ready. Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready, ready, Teddy, to rock and roll. So, Richard, tell me about yourself. Why would you want to work here at uh, Sklorb Lorb Incorporated? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, but could, would you mind telling me what kind of company Sklorb Lorb Incorporated is before we proceed with the mock interview? Uh, you know, we just sell, like, cocaine lace toilet paper. Cocaine lace toilet paper. I wonder if I'm even allowed to say that. Probably not. Let's get to another uh, <laughs> item. Uh, very... Uh, um, it's like a uh, mixture between playing cards and fortune cookies. See, the reason why I applied here is because my favorite game is Binding of Isaac, and that's definitely a Binding of Isaac reference with the fortune cookie item and the playing cards you can find around the <laughs> uh, around the basements. I wasn't thinking of that at all. Yeah, the fortune cookie item is great. Alright. So, we all make mistakes. Identify a mistake you've made and what you've learned from such. A mistake I've made was not ending it long ago. <laughs> and what I've learned is when life gets tough, just end, end it, it all. <laughs> dude, dude, you're not going to be here to suffer the consequences. <laughs> Hello, my name is Richard. I do not approve of this message. This is just a bit. We at the R&B podcast do not we do not endorse or nor approve suicide. As a matter of fact, I tend to make fun of people who commit suicide rather than feel bad for them first. Just to let you know my stance on people who commit suicide. Yeah. <laughs> Speak of the fucking devil, I fell off a cliff and died. <laughs> I was sliding oh. and I couldn't stop in time and I jumped off a fucking cliff and died. <laughs> oh god, I'm a chick. Oh god, I see it. <laughs> Alright, uh, what past experience made make you a great candidate for our position here at Schlorblorb? Um, I have. But I, I, I've only had like one other job and it was like Yoshinoya and I fucking hate it there. Um, yes, uh, 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 earlier this week, for uh, I agreed to go in at 2 o'clock on Saturday. I didn't leave my house until 3.30. God damn. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you saw <laughs> my story post where I did the funny... Uh, <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Oh no, my God, Bradley! Just it. to get off, just, just to just to get off, a little bit off topic from this uh, mock interview we're having here. Um, you don't know how. So me and me and Eric watched that shit in Screen X. I don't know if you know Screen what that X. is. Screen X. Uh, no. Could you tell me for the people who don't know what Screen X is? So Screen I don't know if this is only board. a thing at like Regal theaters, um, or if other theaters have it. But Screen X is a theater that's basically a three monitor setup. A three monitor setup. Yeah. What so, is there just like three screens per room? There's three screens in that one room, and and um, I guess I guess it's supposed to be like a more immersive experience because the screen is like a a blank wall. There's so so you have the projector right in front of you, right? Like like one would normally yeah. expect. Then then like you have like the the the, the literal silver screen. Then you have the two walls. On the side, there's projectors on the walls, and they project more movie on the... What do you mean, more movie? You mean, like, the rest of the picture, or do they show the same picture on each wall? They, they show extra movie, if that makes sense. It, it, no, wider. what do you mean, extra movie? The wider movie. You, there, there's more so movie in your movie. So all three of them show one, one picture? They all show one picture, but you'll get more picture than you would have seen if you watched it in a regular theater, supposedly. Yeah. And the quality really? of the screens on the walls are so shit. They are so shit. Like, <laughs> it's not... 
no. So me and Eric yeah. watch this shit in Screen X, and it's, uh, as soon as that scene starts playing where uh, Adam Warlock is flying too fucking crazy on you, yeah. Uh, like before the song starts playing, I'm already laughing at how shit the fucking Screen X looks. So I'm already laughing. And then I see him flying into the fucking song. I'm like, no way, that's the actual fucking song they used. Yep. <laughs> I thought it was just a fucking meme. I, nope. I did. I thought it was just a meme. <laughs> so not only am I busting out laughing at how shit Screen X looks, I'm laughing even harder. <laughs> that's actually what it fucking plays. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing like a maniac in the theater the whole time. And um <laughs> another thing about Screen X, the uh, your uh well, what's that shit called? What is it called like the dimensions of a screen? Like 4 3 or like the, the, like the screen not, ratio? Yeah, but it has an actual name. It's not Yeah. I I forgot I what made it is. that name up, but I think I know what you're talking about. It changes throughout the entire movie because sometimes the screen X will turn off and sometimes it'll turn off. It's called aspect ratio. There you go. Yeah, aspect ratio. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. The aspect ratio will change throughout the whole movie because the screen X will turn on and off depending on how intense the scene is. <laughs> <laughs> but I do believe that was a it was a great film. I loved the uh, I loved the rocket lore. It was. One yeah, of the first it, times the, I ever cried. The movie was just rocket lore. Well, one of the first times I ever cried during a Marvel movie. Now, if you haven't seen the movie yet, a uh, huge trigger warning for animal abuse. Yeah, I'm not uh, much so of a trigger it, warning guy, but I know perfect. that. I know that can get PM. under the skin. Oh yeah, they, they had a great time watching that movie. Yeah, because they they partake in, in animal abuse themselves. Not just abuse, fucking murder. Yep. They've probably killed more dogs than you've eaten cows. I wouldn't be surprised if that were true. They are... Very hypocritical people. Oh my god, speaking mm. of PETA, do you know that vegan teacher? Uh, what did she do this time? She, uh, this was already like a couple of months ago, but she, she lost her. She lost her. She she she. She lost her mind. She's elaborate. She's gone full psycho. She's calling for the the. Uh, now nobody knows if this was like a bit or not, but she's calling for the genocide of all cats. I am going to say this is a bit. Because cats eat meat and and they're evil for eating meat, so they need to all die. <laughs> That is her logic and reasoning. Hold up, buddy. I'm gonna fight you right now. Let me just get this blue shotgun instead of this white shotgun so I can kick your ass a little more easily. Now I Damn, can't kick your ass more easily. One argument against veganism. Wow, me and this guy both suck. Really? Yeah. Let me check the stream. But first of all, my hotbar is not even organized. <laughs> My hard bar, my hot bar is not even organized, so like it was just. So I'm pretty sure it's yeah. obvious from the beginning of uh. From like from like when you first introduced to Rocket in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, I'm pretty sure we all know he's a, an experiment. Yeah. But we just and don't know was... much else other than that. It's explain. It's like slightly, ever so slightly explained a little bit more in the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Really? When? Uh, when Rocket and Yondu are arguing. Oh, yeah. He, he was Yondu is a good yeah. character. For real, for real. Actually based. Oh my god, are we gonna have to do an MCU character tier list? Yes, but we're gonna have to limit that to, like, main cast. Define main cast. Does Yondu count? Yondu does count. Ah. Alright. We're very important to the story, like... I don't, I don't think we should include fucking Ned. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. Oh, cause, cause, cause mean Ned, that, Ned is too that? good. I was about to say, are you gonna say that because he's too good and we need to give everybody else a chance? Oh my god, one of the higher evolutionaries was look like fucking Ned. That, that, that shit just... 
<laughs> you know which one I'm talking about. Oh my god. Yeah. I could not stop laughing. Every time I saw him, I was just... <laughs> dude, dude, that movie, like, I, I could not stop laughing for reasons that, like... Shouldn't have been funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I don't know why they hired that man of all people to play that role, but... I don't care, I loved his performance. <laughs> it also didn't help that he had a British accent, I'm like, oh my god. Yes, that's how you could t definitely tell when a character's supposed to be evil in a, in a movie made by Americans, if they're British. It, it's that leftover revolutionary conflict. For real, for real. So... I hear that's more common Richard? in, like, kids' movies. What? Oh, yeah. It's definitely more common in kids' movies. But, uh... Tell me, Richard. What would you consider to be your three greatest strengths? And, uh... Provide me an example of when you used one of these strengths. So... Uh... On my character sheet, I have a... <laughs> I have a... I believe I have an 18 in charisma, and, uh... I use that to seduce people and get what I want out of them. <laughs> I, I, I I believe I have a relatively high intelligence stat. I think it's at least above average. So I, I use that to uh, try to come up with ways to solve the certain issue I'm having in the campaign, and uh, and um, I tend to be more logical than the, the squad I, I, I hang out with, and um, I'm quite handy with a uh, with a bow. Alright, Richard. Would you mind telling me what you think to be your greatest weakness? Um, my greatest weakness... Um... I haven't worked out in, like... Seven years. So probably my arm strength. If I had to choose. I see. So what qualifications do you have that that what qualifications do you have that make you think you will be successful um what are we selling again uh playing cards with little fortunes on them oh i love uh, um well i'm gonna answer that question with a question go on you my 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 dearest interviewer if you were given the option between these two things, oh no! <laughs> would you rather have oh, unlimited no. bacon, <laughs> but no more no more video games, or games unlimited games, but no games? I would say uh, unlimited games. I would choose the same thing, and since playing cards are games, we are making unlimited games. <laughs> okay. Uh, why did you decide to pursue a career in uh, Schmorgaborg Incorporated? Um, because I was really confused. Where do you see yourself five years from now? In a like, six feet under. <laughs> 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 Man, these questions right. are too easy. What subject did uh, do slash did you like in high school? English, but only by certain teachers. Go on. There would be some teachers that assigned the same assignment over and 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 over again. But they just made it slightly harder and obviously that got fucking boring so I decided I didn't I didn't like that so I didn't do their work. You can't just give me the same thing but harder every time. I'm gonna get sick of it. Every video game ever would like to uh, differ. Fortnite doesn't get harder. I guess you're right. Nah, one thing I really hated was uh, 
In 10th grade was Say Mean Matters. Holy fuck, we did those every day. Every book we read, like... That's, that's one of the main things that discouraged me from reading. And honestly, Romel's, uh, fucking, uh... J uh weekly journals also pissed me off. Hmm. Oh my god! Where are all these people coming from?! What the hell is going on? I don't know, I killed like three people and all of a sudden, like, there's more people in that area! Okay, uh, next question. What are your short-term and long-term goals? Short-term, ingest as many pesticides as they can. And lots of toxic... Lots of toxic, bad stuff for the environment kind of things. Eat a bunch of plastic, eat a bunch of... Eat a bunch of, like... Carbon. Lots of carbon. And, um... Um... The, for long-term goals, I wish to be cremated, and when I when they burn my body, it's gonna be releasing a bunch of toxic fumes, um, just worsening the environment a little more, getting everybody else a, a foot closer to the grave. <laughs> That's a unique goal. Yep. Okay, give give me an example of a time in which you experienced conflict or problem, and how you handled it. Um, one time my DS wasn't, like, loading the games, like, the games just wouldn't show up, or it would say nothing is inserted in the card slot. The way I handled it was, um, <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> Alright, give me an ex a specific example of a time in which you sold your supervisor or teacher on an idea or concept. How did you proceed and what was the result? On an idea or concept. So I introduced one of my teachers to the idea of suicide when he gave me a lore test score. Um, <laughs> for the rest of the year, uh, we actually had a different teacher, so. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, describe a significant challenge you experienced in your career or education. How did you overcome it, and what did you learn? Could you repeat the question once again? Describe a significant challenge you experienced in your career or education. My How did you overcome it, and what again. did you learn? A challenge I, I experienced in my uh, career is... Um, is uh consistent overworking and unfair treatment of employees in the workplace so the way i handled it was i agreed to come in at two and left my house at three thirty. describe a time in which you went out of your way to help someone understand a new task or procedure well every time i had to train a new person of course there's plenty of times I do the same thing every time, and you know what that is, Bradley. This is this is more of a serious uh, response. Role play. Hmm. I can see how I, that I, I put I put them in scenarios that they may or may not find themselves in, and um, and I after I, after I show them how to do it, their basic job, of course, then I will. Uh, I'll pretend to be a customer having legit co customer conversations and uh and they will uh they'll I will uh observe the way they handle said situation. Sometimes I will uh I'll just act like a normal customer that just wants their food, or is it normally they get the order right, whatever. Sometimes I'll act like a weirdo and ask for something that's probably not even on the menu and see, <laughs> see what the reaction is. Uh, no, usually when I do that, I ask for like, I, I ask for, like old menu items. Oh, uh, not <laughs> like a uh, McGriddle? No. Uh -huh. Although, I, um, the other day I had, um, I was working the, the drive through and the lady started ordering Taco Bell. <laughs> what? Yeah, she asked me for like two <laughs> chicken chalupas. ordering chalupa. Taco Bell. She asked me for two chicken chalupas. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> we, we don't sell that here, ma'am. 
I, I was confused because I thought like, because obviously we saw chicken and I was just like, chicken ball. Um, and she was like, oh shit, I thought, or, or I, I don't think she said oh shit, but she's like, oh, I thought I was at Taco Bell. And I was like, it happens. I think the weirdest place that somebody thought we were was El Pollo Loco. How the hell do you mistake? <laughs> like you Taco Bell, I get it because it's next door. Loco. But yeah, that that was the weirdest. Uh, <laughs> that was the weirdest uh, restaurant that somebody thought we were. Yeah, I think that was the weirdest answer you could have given. That was like. I don't know, very slightly close. Barely. Yeah, I don't, again, I don't know how that happens. Poyo Local is not even close to us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's not even in the same area. It's not like, oops, I pulled up to the wrong drive through. Alright. <clears throat> this is the final question. Why should I hire you? Uh, cause you're short staffed. <laughs> God, if only I could say that. Try it, see what happens. Just do it for a job you don't really care about. Or maybe like once you already <laughs> land a job, and another place just asks you for an interview, just go and... and see how, see how it goes. <laughs> If you were giving an interview, what would you do if someone answered to that? I would honestly just not even fucking... Like, I, I don't expect you to give a fuck, I genuinely don't. But I expect you at least to pretend to give a fuck. <laughs> like, that's what I say, and like, someone when... someone clearly doesn't? Like, that's what I say when, like, somebody's just, like, fucking... Like, doing shit, like, at least pretend to give a fuck, please. Nah, bro. This is just gonna say you're short stuff. I thought I tell it to my employees who were already hired, and what the fuck am I looking at? My brain didn't process it till now. What? Whatever the fuck this is. I don't know if you're watching the stream. I'm watching the stream right now, but again, there's a delay. Oh. I'm just standing is staring it, at it. Is it the freaking hologram? Yeah. This place looks sad and barren, holy shit. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, if uh, Once we go through your answers, we'll uh, hit you up once we're satisfied. Hit you up, very professional. Very professional here at Shamor Borb Incorporated. That's a very interesting name you have for uh, your your little uh, fake company there. It reminds me of a little 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 food truck gathering place in a uh, in downtown LA called the Smorgasbord. <laughs> I wasn't um, thinking of that. It's a bu it's a bunch of like food trucks and other like little restaurants. I've been there before. It's good. I mean, it's like the most hipster LA Is thing it? you could do. Paper straws and shit. Okay. It, it's a bunch of hippie food, honestly, but like, sometimes that shit's good. Not, not no cap. Uh, define <laughs> hippie food. Um... The, the, way, the best way I could define hippie food is just... I'm pretty sure everybody who made that food was high. Fair enough. <laughs> And and white <laughs> and liberal. The high white liberal made this food. But again, sometimes that hippie food is fire. Or like sometimes they'll add like, it, no, honestly, the more accurate way to describe it is millennial food. Millennial food. Yeah. Would you make a millennial food? Like burrito. Oh my God! What do I add to that? Avocado. Oh no! Of course. Yeah, I'm guessing avocado. Three options. Should I make it vegan? I should, huh? 
Uh, with black beans as a protein, and then uh, as a with protein a, with with the guac and honestly, one of my favorite things over there was a lobster sandwich. And honestly, I think I might move to uh, Maine. Why Maine? I'm gonna become a lobster fisherman. I've been getting this guy on my YouTube shorts. He started coming uh, up because um, of, a, of, a, of a particular blunder he made. Obviously, clearly not trying to be racist, but um. Oh no! It was, it was accidental racism. Ah, oh, my favorite kind of racism. So, uh, tell me about it. So he catches lobsters and he posts about it on, on YouTube or TikTok, whatever, what, 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 whatever platform he desires, and um. I'm pretty sure he just uses YouTube Shorts, but uh, he posts about his catches on TikTok or whatever, and um. Yeah. Uh, one time he caught a, uh, he he catches lobsters and sometimes they have eggs. They're they're breeders. And so mm -hmm. he'll catch a lobster and he'll say, oh, we've got an egger. Oh, no. We've got an egger. <laughs> okay. Emphasis on the pause between an and mm -hmm. egger. So, you know, clearly since he's not really, you know, saying anything bad, or he's not supposed to be saying anything bad, he doesn't really emphasize the pause like I just did. So, it sounds like he yeah. said, we've got a... <laughs> Jesus and Christ. uh and obviously it was just like one of those things where somebody says accidentally says something racist and everybody in the comments just goes hog wild like hey yo what did this guy just say or they'll put like the old man uh the old man emoji and they'll be like yep he was raised right no <laughs> like, like again his comments just kept getting spammy he even had to make a make a follow-up video uh he caught another lobster with eggs and we were like oh we've got uh and uh uh, an egg bearing female. <laughs> he, he acknowledged the joke in a yeah, very polite, respectful just way. An egger. No, yeah, I don't even think he, he was about to say it, and he was just like, uh, an egg bearing female. <laughs> it was kind of like that, that one guy with the apple cider, uh, Wine guy. Oh. Uh, but apparently the guy with the apple cider vine guy is a. He's what? He's an illegitimate source of information. Oh. According to other TikTok doctors, they're just like, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Oh, well, I think he like reviewed the one with a where he where he said the thing, and because. Because you know how, like, some doctors do, like, reaction videos, like, oh, check out this medical hack, and they'll be like, yep, that's actually true, or they'll be like, uh, nope, that's wrong. This one guy was doing it, and he, I think it was the one where he says, your neck hurts, but he doesn't, like, pronounce, oh, no. like, the, 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 the CK sound very well. Yeah. So it's like, your neck hurts? I'm a doctor. And so, like, he says that, and he. be taken down, I just had to jinx it. I said, does your neck hurt? I am treading very deep, like, very deep waters right you here. You are but... on a very, you are on very thin ice, Richard. Uh, I'm on a very slippery slope, if you will. Uh, how far are you falling on that slope? About, like, 30 minutes. Um... But it's okay, because I have sticky fingers. Sticky fingers. Some somebody ended up making a song called Zipper Man, so that's a musical reference now too. I don't know if it was intentional or not. Reference? Uh, huh? Accidental musical reference? I guess so. Uh fuck. What happened? 
my mind just blinked out. I had something I was going to say, and I just fucking... My brain shut off. Damn, that ought to suck. God damn it. I keep forgetting I had my Fortnite upgrades. Bruh. Uh, which ones are you gonna be using right now? I don't know, I just, uh, I just selected the upgrades at random. Bruh. Which ones do you have right now? I have no idea, I selected them at random. You know you can check your inventory to find out which ones, right? Oh. I have Light Fingers, Treasure Hunter, Dumpster Diving, and Supercharged. And those do... I think one makes you reload, like, weapons that take light ammo, light, light ammo, light ammo faster. <laughs> light ammo. Light ammo. Oh, there's somebody over here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the, apparently, like, that, like, I've seen, like, a couple of videos of other doctors reacting, especially to the ones where he, where he says the, the funny word. Vingar. Yeah, but without the, without the proper oh. precaution for, for using such a word. Oh, no, bro. Yeah, apparently there have been people taken out for pronouncing, uh, Vingar, uh, correctly. What the hell? Because uh, it's because the algorithm can't tell the difference. No, it cannot. Thanks, robots, for being stupid. Yeah, because it was just too expensive to pay a guy seven dollars an hour to watch copious amounts of YouTube. Honestly, again, um, YouTube, I'm willing to take that job. I don't care if I have as the guy who watches the flagged videos. I am way willing to take that job. I I can work from home. Um, so it doesn't even have to be in person. You can send me my paycheck through mail, or you can okay, even sign up for direct deposit. Hour. Oh, you take direct deposit for that? I'd, I'd take direct deposit for that, yeah, why not? Oh god, I think there's like a full-blown fucking Mexican standoff over here. What? No, I gotta see this. Uh, I just saw like a bunch of bullets. Oh god. Oh god. What happened? It's the clones. Oh no, and it's order 66. You're fucked, bro. Oh, there's a guy over here. <laughs> he was hiding in the bush, that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, there's uh, more. What's your thoughts on Star Wars fans? They they, they, they can be a bit, um, actually, at times, but overall I don't mind them. Overall I don't have, like, a huge issue. I see. Ah! No! Miss! What happened? Uh, I'm low on health and there's, uh, clone troopers, uh, Oh! Oh! Oh? Darth Maul? Oh! Oh my god, this Darth Maul's name is Captain Rex 94806. Damn, bro. He's a child. I got nanated by Captain Rex, pretending to be Darth Maul. Yeah, dude, he, 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 for, he, he did a force throw. He force threw rocks at me. Yeah, it's a child. I'm pretty sure it's only children who say that Captain Rex is their favorite clone. Really? Who's your That's favorite clone? say anyway. Uh, Commander Cody. Hmm, hmm. For me, well, I'm more, I'm more of a... tech. I'm, I'm more into my droids. Roger, roger. Oh yeah? Which droid? Mr. Bones? Mr. Skelly Bones. Do, 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 Mr. Skelly Bones. You know, do, 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 do you know who Mr. Bones is? Do do Mr. Conquer droids are actually my favorite droids of all time. Well, they're everybody's favorite. That's not true. I mean, one person doesn't like a Gonk droid. 
Uh, well, I don't know if he just does. I don't, I don't think he just doesn't like him. I just don't think they're his favorite droid. Well, who's he? Okay, my bad. Uh, sorry for that pause. I thought I saw Big Chungus. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, and not only was it, did I think I saw Big Chungus, I thought I saw Ugandan Chungles, which is a, which is a very you saw Big Chungus, Ugandan Chungles, which is a, <laughs> which is a nightmare from my past. Um, so I used to play a lot of Rec Room. Okay. Which is basically just VR Chat and Roblox had a baby together, and there uh, oh you can make your own costumes. And uh, so, uh, and there's a, there's a room that was like a comedy night room, and there's yeah. a bunch of outfits you could put on. I was looking at the outfits, and uh, and the outfits don't have names, so I named it myself. But it was a mix between Ugandan Knuckles and Big Chungus. Oh no! So I, I called it Ugandan Chungles. God, I don't think I ever want to see something like that. It, it's a relic of my past. Ugandan Chuckles. Ugandan Chungles. Chungles? And I, I thought I saw a skin that looked like Ugandan Chungles, and I was just like, no. No, he's here to haunt me again. <laughs> again, an absolute relic from the past. It's, uh... It brings back memories. We have memories. come back to haunt you. Yeah. Ugandan chuckle chungles. Almost fucked it up and said Ugandan chuckles. Ugandan chuckle sandwich. Chuckle sandwich. They made a video with Cutie Cinderella. Who? Twitch streamer. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't. I don't use Twitch. Neither do I. But I know who she is at least because she does get talked about relatively often. Well, what I didn't she know she was do? Amish. An so Amish probably, streamer? Formerly Amish. Okay. Oh my god, I'm retarded. I don't mean Amish, I mean Mormon. Oh, Mormon. I don't know why I said Amish, I meant Mormon. Because, like, I'm pretty sure that was the biggest, like, paradox I've ever heard. A, an Amish streamer. I don't know what the biggest paradox you've ever heard, but that, that is very much a paradox. Well, can you think of a bigger paradox? And I mean a paradox, not an oxymoron, like jumbo shrimp. What are oxymorons if not just paradoxes? Um, uh, oxymorons make sense. Nuh-uh. Oh, I Yes. Premium? Explain pretty ugly. Either this was bots or they were fucking teaming, uh, holy hold shit. On. I'll, I'll be right back, give me a second. Okay. So for the next few seconds that Bradley is gone, this will be a... A Fortnite gameplay stream. Damn, those kids suck. Those kids are noobs. Oh, they're still watching me. Let me emote on them. Dun, 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 Let me activate Bush Warrior. All right, I'm back. Oh, I thought you would have been gone longer. No, it's just that Chris wants my brother Chris. Uh, he wants me to like tell him the title of the video we're streaming. Oh, Chris is. There at your house with you? Uh, no, he's on a phone call with my mom. Oh. It should just be called the R&B podcast just... episode 32. Yeah. It's just that there's already... I have been meaning to say this, but I keep forgetting. I'm pretty sure you already know this, but there's another podcast called the R&B podcast. There is? That they talk about actual R&B. Oh. I mean, R&B is just short for Richard and Bradley, I mean, they can't really see Yeah. Uh, I hope they, they can They mean R&B music. They mean R&B music? Are, are they still active? Uh, I could find out. 
Uh, you keep doing your thing. I'm gonna find out. This is gonna All be right. hilarious. What the fuck is that? I've never, never seen that before. Seen what? Oh, it's just like a house. It's just like way at the edge of the map. Oh. I'll mark this as a point of interest for next time I'm in this area. But for now, that house is getting engulfed by that storm. A Fortnite storm? Yo, there's a new, there's a new food theory. New food theory? Oh boy. Probably gonna watch that on my way to work. Let's see, R and B podcast. Yeah, the R and B money podcast. No, oh, that's R and B money podcast. That's not. That's not the R and B podcast. So we're safe, right? Yeah. Unless they want to be really petty about it. Yeah, cause uh, I don't think we. Cause like, let's be honest. If they're really gonna have a problem with it, I think they should bring that up with YouTube because uh, we don't make a single dime off of this. We, what I could do? Oh, they just posted an episode yesterday. Hold up. I feel like I, I highly doubt this is ever gonna happen in an unrealistic situation. But I Very do have a good blackout plan. I do have a good blackout backup plan. plan. Shut up. Um, I do have a, I have a, I do have a pretty good backup plan in case they do try to ensue legal action. What, uh, what would that be, Richard? So I would register. Uh, I would register Swagman Incorporated as a limited liability company. R and B <laughs> the R and B show would be a brand of the of Swagman, of the Swagman LLC. And um, so instead of suing <laughs> us, they'll sue Swagman. But they can't sue Swagman because Swagman doesn't bring any income. <laughs> <laughs> because once you, once you apply as an LLC, your business is treated as like an individual. Your your business will have more rights than a African American in the 1900s. Wow. Your dogs are racist. My dogs are barking because because my grandma came and I guess they want her attention. I don't know why my dogs love my grandma so much. Yeah, I don't think I could give a guess on why they love your grandma so much either. Especially because she's the meanest to them. She calls them names and shit. What? <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that to a dog? Because they're acting stupid. Keisha, come here. Or or ignore me. All right. Fuck you. <laughs> Chucha, come here. Yeah, hi, Chucha. Hi. You're not supposed to be back here. You're goofy. What are you doing back here? Whoa. Don't bite me in my home home, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn, bro, you're being abused by your own dog. Yeah, she tried biting me, but... Clearly, she's not fast enough for my cat-like reflexes. Cat-like? Human-like. You know, I, I try not to bring up other people. Oh, actually, Carlos and Matthew want to do, do a collaboration with us. Is that so? Yeah. You know the the ones from the Mafia? Uh, the yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're probably going to do a JoJo tier list of them. A JoJo tier list? Yeah. Yeah, I'm so down I'm thinking, for that. I'm thinking we could do something like uh, in similar vein to the, um, to the Five Nights at Freddy's tier list where we did like... Um, JoJo characters game... and stands? No, well, not exactly that, but... I think I think we'll include each character and their stand together. But um, really, you wouldn't yeah. put the stand separate. But I was gonna say parts. We rank the parts first. I say we go one through seven because I don't think any of us here have adequate experience with part eight. And then uh, fair enough. Even though it is the one I want to read the most. That should be long, bro. Oh, I know. 
But but it sounds so good. It sounds better than part seven to me. What the fuck? Oh, but... I got jump scared by a chicken. <laughs> you got jump scared by a chicken? I, I, I can I, I don't know why I tend to get jump scared by the dumbest shit in video games. Yes, like the storm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, to, I mean, I, I saw, I could see how someone could get jump scared by it, but goddamn. <laughs> that was hilarious. Do you, do you think there's like some sort of record for people being jump scared by things that weren't supposed to jump scare them to begin with? Uh. Maybe? Uh, I'd say I'm pretty high up there. I, I'd say I'm probably like in the top. <laughs> like, like if we rank like all eight billion people in the world right now, I, I think I'd probably be like top eleven thousand. For being jump scared by not by things not supposed to scare you. Not supposed to jump scare me in particular. Jump scare you? Yeah, because I feel like like that shit happens to me every time I play something. <laughs> We're gonna have to put this on a list. Everything Richard has been jump scared by. All right, that... Bradley, grab your phone and like go go to your notes or grab a notebook, whatever whatever you think works best for you. Uh, hold on, I'm putting I'm fuck that shit. I'm making a, another document on Google Google Docs. Even better, I feel like that. Therefore, it's on the internet forever. Um. So uh... put the Richard jump scare list, and right now I want you to put storm, and a chicken. Fortnite Fortnite storm Fortnite chicken. There's grappling hooks? Oh, that's not grappling hooks, that's more attack on titan weapons. <laughs> yeah, it's man, John man, Cena! Man. What? I don't know how much experience you have with attack on titan. I'd say I'd have some experience with it. Do you know what an ODM gear is? Uh, yes. He was using that. John Cena just zipping around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he was zipping around and I guess he noticed me after he passed me by and then, uh. And then, um, fuck. Um. Shit. I, I died right now, so I'm uh... I guess he Did noticed John me Cena? once he passed me by and I just see John Cena just jump right in front of me. I'm like, what the. That... <laughs> I guess you can count John Cena, Fortnite John Cena as a jump scare. Uh, yeah, sure. Hold on. Let's see, Fortnite Storm. Fortnite Storm, Fortnite Chicken, Fortnite John Cena. <laughs> I do not regret choosing to play Fortnite over uh, anything else right now. I, uh, do not blame you. <laughs> it's just interesting, we'll be in the middle of a conversation and then <laughs> John Cena would... <laughs> It's because there's so many collaborations. So, like, just, like, the most absurd shit could happen. I know. <clears throat> like, Ariana Grande getting shot by Deku. Who then proceeds to get shotgunned by John Cena. Or John Zena using ODM gear fucking jump scaring Harley Quinn who has an Among Us on her backpack. Or Creed hitting the gritty on Thanos. Or Kratos and the Doom Slayer dueling up against Rick and Morty. <laughs> it's Rick and Morty are now going to be rare skins. R really though? Because like, I don't know. They're getting recasted. Yeah, but um, I don't think... Uh, so, obviously, things that happen in the real world affect the Fortnite skin market. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. For example, the Travis Scott. Oh. Well. No, well, I don't think Travis Scott was coming back regardless, but... Like, any chances of him coming back are definitely, uh... Are definitely yeah. done. Because of the whole actual world, uh... Because, uh, uh, you know, that, that one concert. And, uh, so that, that, that definitely affected the Fortnite skin. Seen. So that definitely affected the Fortnite skin market. And then, um, 
the fact that we're talking about Fortnite skin markets. Then, ju the Justin Roiland, uh, oh, yeah. situation, um, I don't think Rick and Morty are ever going to come back to the item shop because of that. E even if, <laughs> I, I think they were proven in court to be false allegations. But still, just, in the world we live in, you can't even recover from false allegations. Yeah, just look at Tabuscus. Who yep. is, uh... Well, just damn. In uh, other news, I've heard rumors of a another uh, Mad Max sequel. Another one. And the reason that. why uh, it took so long was because all of these years, the actual studio that would be filming it and Warner Brothers were just having an argument on who gets paid how much. Ridiculous. The passion for movie making is gone. Uh, yeah, that's just been gone, bro. It's about the money. Oh, it's about the, <laughs> no, about the it, passion, it, Spider-Man. It, 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 it's most apparent in, in Disney right now. Yeah. I think everything they've been releasing for like the past five years is a remake. They've even remaking movies that... I think they're already doing a live-action Moana It hasn't even been out that long. Yeah, I'm gonna blame the, uh, the very little success of Black Adam for that. What? Uh, cause you know, Black Adam flopped. Yeah. So why not just try to make more money with a Moana remake? But Black Adam's a Warner Brothers movie, not a Disney yes. movie. But The Rock is definitely a star in it. Yeah. So why bother being, uh, have, uh, crap, cause he's like, you know he's going to play as, as, uh, Maui. Oh, uh, he's still gonna be Maui in the live action? Yeah. I thought you knew. No. I just heard it was being made. Yeah, he announced what he was gonna be I Maui. What can I say except like, you're welcome? He announced he was gonna be Maui, like, right after it was... Clear that a uh, Black Adam flopped. Damn. Which you know that kind of sucks because I actually enjoyed Black Adam for all its cheesiness. Um, I I don't I don't remember where I heard this. I don't have a source, but I heard like it's under contract with like every movie studio that The Rock is in. The Rock has to win. What? <laughs> yeah, like the like. So if you ever watch a movie with The Rock in it, The Rock has to win. I can't imagine one movie where he doesn't. Yeah, there's one movie where he doesn't. What movie was that? Uh, Return of the Mummy with Brandon Fraser. Okay, that was a long time ago, though. <laughs> I, I think it's a relatively new thing. Which... It was uh, what, the Scorpion move. King, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, with the Scorpion King. <laughs> you know. I... I like very much love the uh, the Brendan Fraser mu mummy movies. As did I. As do I. Like, holy shit! I think uh, I have them all. Did you see all of them? Yeah. Uh, you saw. You seen the whole trilogy? I think so. I um, uh, it's been a long time since I ever uh, popped these bad boys into a. A, a CD, but I do believe I have all three of them. Let me check my movie drawer. The Mummy's Collector's Edition, yes. You have the Mummy, the Mummy Returns, and the and the Scorpion King. So I have all three of them on DVD, and I'm pretty sure I have seen all three of them. Although. I can't really remember too much. I see. Have you ever been to Universal Studios, Bradley? Uh, yes, I have. Have you been on the Mummy ride? No. It's pretty Is it based. Good? 
pretty based. It, it is a fast ride. It is a bit of a thrill ride, but I, I do think it, you'll enjoy it. Probably, but uh, is this actually uh, just an indoor roller coaster? What makes it? What makes it based? It's just cool. Okay, I thought like some weird shit happens in it. Oh no. No, there's yeah. There's Pretty no good. uh helicopter the same size as Vin Diesel. No. It's not a very <laughs> cheesy ride. It's not at all. All right. Did we end up going on the Buzz Lightyear ride when we went to Disneyland? Like actual Disneyland? Uh, the one where we sit next to each other and shoot. I, I know we did the Toy Story Mania, but like I meant like the yeah, Buzz Lightyear one. Yeah, I don't think we. Do, I don't think we did the Buzz Lightyear one. All right, if we ever go to Disneyland again, we gotta, we gotta do that shit. <laughs> that's a that's a must ride. <laughs> it's a must ride. Toy Story Mania is also really fun. Uh, what happened? Oh, well, nothing. Just checking the chat and only to see absolutely nothing. Yeah, no, I, I've seen Pablo say what's up, loser, twice already. The fuck? That's weird. Oh, shit. Uh, why? What's going, uh, what? What's going on? Gunfight. Uh, so I'm certain you've seen Shaun of the Dead. I have not actually. Oh! Ah! Rip. Jedi. Have you seen Shaun of the Dead? Oh. Just like random NPCs that are that just so happen to look like Jedi, or is it actual characters? It, it's players that that have fucking lightsabers and shit. Oh, uh, execute order sixty six. It's kind of hard to do that with the Jedi in the way. Oh my God, there's people that know all the orders and shit. I'm, I'm like, oh, bro, I only know like. Yeah, I only know Order 66, bro. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go through all the orders in this episode. <clears throat> okay. Just for the funnies. Bye, Mom. Goodbye. Have fun. I'll see you tomorrow. I highly doubt that. Okay, I believe the Jedi is gone. Yeah, is some Bozo so? pulled up with a lightsaber, and I, I guess... I guess the... Because the, each lightsaber comes with a different force ability. And I think his lightsaber had a force ability to throw, like... So I, I just saw cars flying at me, and I was just like, oh, fuck. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, uh, the first order, you know, is Order 4. Uh -huh. Not one. Uh, in the event of the Supreme, uh, just like Jesus Chancellor, was born in four BC. You know, I forget that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> How do we fuck up that badly as a, as a as a species? Yeah, I have no idea. In the event that. The Supreme Chancellor being incapacitated. Overall, guard command shall fall to the Vice Chairman of the Senate until a successor is appointed or alternative authority. Okay, it's just basically saying there's a backup in case Palpatine dies. And who is this backup? The Vice Chairman. Who is the Vice Chairman? I think it's the big blue dude that follows him everywhere. Ha. Huh. Uh, Why I'm not Darth Vader? Uh, he wasn't a thing yet when Palpatine ah. was put into pow power. Ah, ah. Oh! No! Ah! Yeah, I, was like, oh, oh. I was right, it is the blue dude. What <sighs> happened? I stopped watching the stream for this much. 
I almost died. Just watch the just watch the stream. Uh, All right. It'll just watch it for a few seconds. I almost fucking nanaed myself. Let's see how you almost freaking died. Better not be falling off that slight, that slight cliff face. I, I think, uh, no, it's not it, cause um, it was, it was far earlier than that. I, I, I was, I was falling from a building, from like the before tippy top of the building. Before or after you spoke to Darth Maul? Uh, way before. All right, I'm gonna go back. Uh, is it when you're still grinding on the rails in the skyscraper area? Yeah, I believe so. Around, around there. Oh! <laughs> oh okay! <laughs> that was a good save. Can you use force throw to throw, like, objects? Is that not what it's supposed to do? Uh, it just throws rocks that come from the ground, but I'm wondering if I could like throw this car. Oh yeah, I can. Oh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, the orders. Yeah, the orders. I'm just going through whatever seem interesting because like the next one is order five and it's just the exact same thing as order four but instead of palpatine being incapacitated it's if he were to actually be voted out of power i see democracy am i right yes i love democracy isn't that a line from one of the movies yeah his line i think in episode two Yes. Alright. Order 37. Capture of a single wanted individual through mass arrest and threatened execution of civilian population. Follow up directives include scenarios for body disposal of civilian casualties and suppression of communications. Oh, uh, what? what? <laughs> There's someone that the Republic want. They arrest everybody associated with that person, and if there's any resistance, there's, there's, a, uh, there's, uh, directives, uh, to deal with any dead bodies that occur from such resistance. Of basically just arresting a bunch of civilians. Uh, that's a little cruel. Order 65. In the event of either a majority of the Senate declaring the Supreme Chancellor unfit to issue orders, or the Security Council declaring him, him or her, to be unfit to issue orders, and un, and an authenticated order being received by the GAR, Commander shall be authorized to detain the Chancellor with lethal force if necessary. Didn't know he'd have one for himself, but okay. How, how many orders did you skip? Oh, uh... This, this is the category for known orders. Oh. Okay. Uh, then there's Order 66. In the event of Jedi officers acting against the interests of the Republic and after receiving specific orders verified as coming directly from the Supreme Chancellor, uh, GAR commanders will remove those Jedi with lethal force. Order 6. Throwing away all communications devices as far as humanly possible. <laughs> Self isolation. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, there's <gasps> some other ones. Order 67. What's this? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, don't you just love Lego games? Yes. Order 67 was an order requiring clone troopers to dance. <laughs> That's canon? Uh, only to Lego Star Wars. Ah, Cringe. Which might as well say it's canon. I mean, is there an order to order 67 in the regular universe? Uh, n none that we know of. Oh, that might just be it then. Might as well say. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look for that one, like, really isolated house again. I think it was, like, over here. Okay, what's the next, uh, other order? Oh, it just showed me some right now. You don't tell me there's only like five known orders. Uh, there there is only like five known orders. Yeah, exactly five. <laughs> Four, five, thirty-seven, sixty-five, and sixty-six. And sixty-seven. And 67. So there's six. No, there's five. Including 67? No. I'm including 67 in my count. Then yeah, there's six. George Lucas should, uh, should write all the orders. <laughs> okay, so in canon, there are around 150 orders. Oh, wow. Uh, ooh, this one. Uh, orders... Order 99 was this, uh, its sole purpose is to con basically just contain the Separatists alliance if everything else in the, in the Clone Wars failed. Clone Wars? That, okay, Order 1 is not Star Wars related. That is actually related to U.S. history. What order is that? Order 1. And what is that? Uh, ordered that the date, uh, uh, February 22nd of 1862 be the day for a general movement of the land and naval forces of the United States against insurgent forces. See, that's just in case the United States needs to square off against, like, Darth Maul and shit. <laughs> oh, now I'm getting more U.S. history shit. Okay. Well, I keep reading them, man. Uh, okay. Order 32 uh, is of the Code of Civil Procedure. Uh, 1908 deals with the suits by or against minors and persons of unsound mind. What? It prescribes the procedure for suits to be filed by or against minors or persons of unsound mind. Uh, basically, it's what uh, I guess a court should do if a lawsuit or some type of suit is being made or being made by or against a child or someone who does not 
have or someone who's like not all there. <laughs> oh. I just threw a nine year old and one. <laughs> <laughs> I just challenged a nine-year-old to a boxing match and won. I challenged a nine-year-old to a basketball game and won. Guys, I just had the worst day of my worst life. Worst day of my life. <laughs> Would you sue a kid? It depends what the kid did. Well, what would it take for for you to sue a kid? Destroy my property. Dest destruction of property, alright. Intentionally. Mali destruction of property with malicious intent. Because, like, if it's an accident, then it's an accident. I see. Yeah, if it's an accident, I'll take it to Judge Judy. If they did it on purpose, I'm taking it to the Supreme Court. Right? Uh, yeah. I hear bullets, I hear people. I did have a couple of topics, but I, I, I did originally intend to do this shit in Minecraft, but... <laughs> Goku! Oh my god, I hate this shit. This stupid research is being bullshit. God damn it, LucasArts. Why can't you just make stuff more easy? There's an Order 64, but it's never explained what it is. The only reference to it is one episode in the Clone Wars when Order 66 happens. And one of the clones, after Order 66 happens, one of the clones was like, Okay, now what do we do? I don't know. Uh, it says somewhere in Order 64 to do something else. Did George Lucas write the Clone Wars, or, uh, no, or was that at least was... heavily advised by him? Uh, he was there, but if you want to like give someone credit for the Clone Wars, you give it to the cowboy wearing Chad known as Dave Filoni. Dave Baloney. Yes, with his cowboy hat on. I see. I see. Let's see if that the, that name is anywhere on my Clone Wars DVD. It should be. Wouldn't be a thing without him. I can't even find that shit right now. Let's see, what do I have? I have um, Alice in Wonderland. I have How to Eat Fried Worms, Adventure Time. Alice in Wonderland again, but live action. Peter Pan. Oh, silly me, it might be with the rest of the Star Wars movies. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is, it's on the side. Oh man, that means I had to take out Dr. Seuss's The Grinch vs. The Cat in the Hat. Dave Filoni, director. Oh yeah, I think I was, uh, I know I mentioned this before the podcast started, but I've been getting, like, a lot of videos about the Lorax lately. Uh, yeah, I don't you know. did mention it. Uh, I think I mentioned it too. before the podcast, though. I wonder why. I know Eric's been watching the Lorax, like, fucking, watching Lorax videos, too. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering what we did to get to this point. I forgot about this order. What okay, disorder? So technically, this order is... Very much fan made, which of course it is considering the content inside it. Order sixty nine. Okay. Uh, I would like to, to for you to give three guesses on what Order sixty nine was. Ashoka becomes free use a free use a a cum dump. Noish. What is Order sixty nine? Oh yeah, I get three guesses, right? Yeah. Um. Uh, I have no idea. I, I I don't have any other guesses. 
All right. <clears throat> Uh, this order demanded that all fe all attractive female Jedi are not to be executed, but instead captured and married off to the most successful clone trooper in the capturing unit. Okay. That's basically Order 69. Space weddings. Yes. Space arranged marriages. Nice. My reputation grew. Your rep grew? Oh, all those matches and only... Jesus Christ. I, well, I guess I do you need... You got this, Richard. Search a Republic chest. Alright. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what a Republic Trust looks like. Uh, I wish I could tell you. Wait, I could just Google it. Oh, I do kind of want to get back into Star Wars. Uh, as in, like, the fandom itself, or just a topic to talk about? On the... to watch. Uh, yeah, uh, don't watch Solo. I'm, I'm not gonna watch any other, uh, I'm not gonna watch anything that's come out after, um, after, uh, Revenge of the Shit. Really? Not even the Clone Wars? Well, I guess that, but... Or the Mandalorian? Definitely I heard that not. was good. I'm not watching. It's got Bill not... Burr. I don't give a fuck about Bill Burr. What do you mean? He was in Breaking Bad. I don't care. I'm not watching <laughs> no fucking. Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda, Grogu, Grogu. The child, the child. The child, look at me, I'm so marketable. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Uh, safest places to find Republic chests would be in Meadow Mansion and the Beep and Bounce landmarks. Too bad. Why did you not land there? Uh, I found another place for Republic chests. Good. Yeah, hey, did I ever tell you that a For Honor once had an actual Star Wars event? Yeah. Well, yeah, you didn't just... tell me, but I knew about it. Yeah, they gave everybody lightsabers. And you weren't there for it. I was not there for it. Wee wee wee. Me and my luck, right? <laughs> yes. So apparently Eric's been getting a bunch of Audrey content on his TikTok ever since he watched the uh, Guardian. <sighs> like his phone was just flooded with Otter and Raccoon content. I can see why. Really? What do you mean really? I don't Is know. it not obvious? I haven't gotten um I haven't gotten any otter content yet. At all. Or well, raccoon there, content. Well, is there Marvel content on your TikTok? No. Sounds about right. My TikTok is just shitpost. <laughs> shitpost and cringe content. I found one. You found a Republic chest? Yeah. My you reputation of... grows. <laughs> you ever thought of uh, playing for honor? I thought about it. And? I never played it.
a person who thinks all the time has nothing to think has about no except thoughts. Thoughts. Uh, fake deep. I love fake deep content. I don't. I think it's cringe. Um, I think I got a lot of Reddit karma for uh, posting posting one in uh, r slash I'm 14 in this deep. <laughs> it's a subreddit. Isn't that what that whole? Kind of phones. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that what the whole subreddit's about? Yeah. So that doesn't mean everybody's gonna like it. Fair enough. I think what I posted was just like a like a picture of SpongeBob and. I don't remember what the fuck it was, I'm gonna be completely honest. Let me check my Reddit. What the fuck? What happened? What the fuck? What's going on? So, something's going on in the Binding of Isaac subreddit. That being? I don't know. I, I don't know if this is like some sort of joke I don't get, but um... I don't know. It's... Somebody put, is there a lore reason why Edmund McMillan is a little piece of shit? What the fuck? And all the comments are, because he made a shit of peace with his trash Isaac, but don't fret, you will come back for your money. And that's all the comments are. That's a uh, weird, a weird yeah, thing to... I, I don't know if it's like a joke I don't get, or if it's an actual criticism of Edmund McMillan being a piece of shit. Uh, no, I but, just think the person's just illiterate. But everybody's commenting that exact same thing. Everybody. Huh. I have... Yeah. I, I want to do more research into that. Oh, well, I was supposed to do is look at my posted profile and see what I, see what I posted onto the r slash I'm 13 and this is deep. Oh yeah, the fact that most of the houses in Spongebob's are, are fucking mufflers. Bruh. Yeah, I can uh, see uh, that being on I'm 14, this is deep. Yeah, I put it there. Yeah, I think I'd my biggest like. post was in the r slash Sinvicta subreddit. r slash what? Sinvicta, he's a Binding of Isaac YouTuber. Ah. And, um, the little running joke is gonna be the item little sissy is just like, the goaded item. If you have a little sissy, you're gonna win your run. Because <laughs> sissy loves you. And and I guess some guy who wasn't really familiar with the community was like really confused. It's just like, why is everybody in this community so so obsessed with sissy? It's just a, it's such a shitty uh, item. And I'm like, and I posted, <laughs> please do not harass this man for he does not know. <laughs> 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 And I, I ended off with Sissy still loves them though. <laughs> Hi, you can't find me. I'm in a pile of leaves. Bruh, you're being a bush warrior? Leaf warrior. It's actually a like a pile warrior. of leaves, like a. Like, uh, like you would oh. see in like a, like a cartoon, like a dad raking it. There's a pile yeah. of leaves and the kids jump into it and they fuck it up. Oh no. 
Oh no, they <laughs> now I gotta rake all them leaves again. I just don't get it. Don't get what? Why you would want to stay. Come on, you know I can't go... I can't go one podcast without a FNAF reference. Yeah. Also, uh, also I'm sorry. Do you think, Richard, I'm pretty sure you have a uh, FNAF addiction. No. This is an intervention. No. Dude, yes. I, I literally set the forest on fire. How'd you not... Oh my... <laughs> What the hell? Just hearing this shit and not seeing the context is hilarious to me. The awkward moment when Harley Quinn starts a forest fire using fireflies and then All Might uh, walks by and does absolutely nothing about it. But then Harley Quinn starts following All Might, All Might starts shooting, Harley Quinn shoots better and kills All Might. That just sounds AI generated. I'm gonna get an AI generator and make that picture. Oh god. I wonder how bad that would look. I hope. AI never learns how to do words properly. Define how to do words. Because every time, like it tries doing words, it, it, it can't. Like in a, in a picture. Ah. Like let's say there's like a sign for a store. Like, like the words would just be all fucked up and jumbled up. Yeah, because AI isn't as good as like someone like or a company like Tesla claims it to be. I do believe in the power of AI. I do believe it is well, far more advanced than we ever imagined it would be, I think. Because it can create some pretty convincing photos. Yeah, it can. Honestly, an AI I really want to use is Mid Journey, but I don't know how to use it. You have to, like, like I linked my Discord to it and everything. I just still don't know how to use it. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I've, I've... been trying to... Go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead. Oh, You're yeah, probably just... running into the same problem anyway. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Have you run into the channel Green Skull? Uh, Green Skull? Yeah, I don't he, think he I've just heard does, of it. He just does like a bunch of AI art. He's like, what happens if I tell AI to do this? And I think he uses a lot of the mid journey, but. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of his channel. It's Green School AI, I believe. He mostly does YouTube shorts. And one of his first AI hmm. videos, he he he's like, he was fucking around with like a, a a picture of a Nintendo 64 controller. Oh, okay. Those videos. Yeah, and he'll take off like a piece of it and he'll tell the AI to fill it in. Yeah. Uh, have you ever seen, like, those... Do you know what a mall ninja is? A mall ninja? Yeah. No, I've never heard this term before. you never heard of the term mall ninja? No. Uh, basically a, a person, usually just a middle-aged white dude who, uh... Who, like, collects, uh, those, like, cringy as hell, uh, weapons that you would see at, like... A blade shop you'd see in a mall. Oh, okay. And I mean really cringy. Like, the weapons themselves are cringy. Alright, what weapons would he get? 
Uh, that's the thing. I'm not sure how one would classify such weapons. Just a Google Mall Ninja, and I think you'd see it. Like the Thanos sword? The what? The Thanos sword. I don't think I've seen the Thanos sword. Yeah, Thanos has a sword. Oh, that sword. I forget that sword exists. But, uh, no. More cringe. You know, like... Some glove thing that has a huge blade protruding from it that looks like a shark. Oh god. What? Did you find out? I'm getting people with guns. Uh, those are really what we like to call uh, mall cops. I'm not talking Paul Blart, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking. talking I'm Paul talking Blart about 60-inch, 60-inch uh, barrel magnum. <laughs> yep, that's a mall cop for you. My reputation grew. Yeah, I, I believe for the the Darth Maul quest, I actually had to complete challenges. I I thought I could just do it by leveling up in the game, but I don't think it does shit. Now I just set off a candle. So yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, they're even starting to post about the Lorax and J-Schlet subreddit. <laughs> oh no. I don't think you can play that here on YouTube, bro. It, it's really sped up. Alright, hopefully that shit doesn't get muted then, because that was a bit cringeworthy. Yeah, it's just sped up, let it grow, and you know how they set off uh, Mr. O'Hare and, uh, and like this little rocket thing on his head? I do not remember that. Oh. Again, I don't remember much from the Illumination Lorax movie. I just remember not liking it. Alright, I'm gonna send I'm gonna send you the link to this uh this here uh and it's an R slash J slat. So uh expect the worst. Oh no. I don't think I've seen anything relatively good from that subreddit. Yeah, she's memes. <laughs> yeah, it's just memes, but the type of memes. <laughs> I know. Uh, did you ever play the Flash game, uh, Whack Your Boss? Yes, but it wasn't a Flash game to me. It was a, uh, it was a mobile game. It was on mobile. I uh, maybe it was slightly different, but I think it was called Beat Your Boss. What the hell? Uh, the, did the boss somewhat resemble Tom Tucker from, uh, from Family Guy, the news anchor? Uh, I have a meme with, with, uh, with, like, an actual screenshot from the game Whack Your Boss that I could send to you. Sure. Alright. My name's Marie. Did you change your profile? Oh, my, uh, yeah. To new persona with fucking... Is that supposed- that's Adam Warlock? Yeah. Alright, I'm sending you a pic. I hope if my phone's processor doesn't just, like, commit Sudoku. Sudoku. Fuck! What happened? Well, at least I'm getting challenges done. Um, 
I died like immediately, but I got my challenge done already, so it's not a not a big deal. How much of the of the Darth Maul battle pass have you completed so far? Oh, I've seen that game before. I never played it, but I watched somebody play it. I think maybe like. Mm, it was, it's a small YouTuber. I, I highly doubt you uh, know who they are. His channel name used to be Curtis the Spaz Gamer. God damn it! What? I, I just saw the meme he sent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you, expect the worst. I wasn't expecting that. I should have, considering it's from r slash j slap. God damn it. Launch a kinetic ore with a Star Wars weapon. The fuck does that mean? I have no idea what that means. The fuck is a kinetic ore? Oh, it's the, uh, the, the purple, uh, stuff. You just... Those huge purple rocks that you hit a bunch. Alright, I guess I'll just have to look for one. Should be in like that- there should be like a bunch in that one quarry area. How do you know so much about Fortnite if you don't play it? Uh... Because I remember seeing those and fucking around with those things when I was playing Fortnite? But the map's not even the same. Or maybe you already played the new map, I don't know. I don't remember. I have played the new map. And then I Ooh. uninstalled it because, like, I was just uninterested <laughs> at that point. Right, I'm just kind of playing blindly, I don't really... And then proceeded to beat Elden Ring again. God damn, bro. Is the game really that good? Yes. But yeah, I do remember seeing Wax it's your just, boss. It's just Dark Souls Skyrim, bro. Dark Souls is Skyrim. No. Yeah? Then why did From Software have to make their own Skyrim? Because it is Skyrim. I had a couple other topics I wanted to talk about, but I'm too busy fortnighting to check check my phone. Bruh, uh, just die. No. Food YouTubers. Why not? What did I have to say about food YouTubers? Uh, I'm going oh, to get I'm... something about mukbangs. You know what? No, I think it's. What the fuck did I have to say about food YouTubers? I think it was just the people that fucking chew so fucking loud it pissed me off. <laughs> what, the ASMR food YouTubers? Yeah. I think that's what it is. I know that shit pisses me off, but... Is this a, uh, what grinds Richard's gears segment? Maybe. Um, I don't think they, I don't think, like, they do ASMR as their charm, I think they just happen to do it sometimes. But, like, check out how crispy this is, and... and oh, make... that type of stuff, okay. Like, I, I don't mind them doing that shit with a knife where they... You know? Yeah. Yeah, that shit's cool, I like that shit, plus 20. <laughs> because, um, it also enhances the flavor when you do that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You have to be How? recording, though. Bro, you have to re be recording. Yeah. Seems a little uh, arbitrary. Yeah, no, you absolutely have to be recording or else it won't work. What if this... What if, uh, let's say a person doesn't want it to work? Just to, uh, prove you wrong. It'll become crispier. Oh Trust my me. god. Just record I'm playing Tricky Towers right now. The uh, tower I'm making, I'm, there's no way I'm fucking getting away with this bullshit. I'm not. 
Did you manage to find a person that still plays that shit online? No. You just play by yourself? Yeah. Little challenge modes? Huh? Like little challenge modes? Uh, the endless one. I see. Let's see. Pause. How do I check my challenges? Oh, there we go. Quest. Hey, uh, I think now's a good time to for the uh, R&B uh, rap battle. I, I think so. But yeah, I, I hate people who fucking crunch as loud as possible on their fucking food to see how to show us how crispy the food is. Like, I don't give a fuck. It doesn't have to be extra super duper crispy. It doesn't have to. Be, <laughs> yes, it, it doesn't does, have bro. to cut the roof of my fucking mouth for it to be good, alright? Yeah, it does, bro. I want that shit to stab straight into my brain. Oh, nice protection. So, uh, yeah, uh, you got your character? Uh, no, because I'm still forging some night. Uh, just, uh, commit self deletion, bro. I can't. Commit eat to, tor to tor tortilla chip vertically. It doesn't fit. That's the point. Commit, <laughs> commit underwater dancing. Dancing, walking, walking, rearranging, rearranging furniture. furniture. Did you see the version where they actually uh, AI his voice to say the? Yeah. <laughs> I also found found an AI that uh, like uh, they could record your voice and uh and make you and say what? whatever you want. Oh God! Oh no! But, I don't uh, I can don't figure out how to record my own voice. Well, I don't have any like audio files of you saved, so I only have one picture of you, <laughs> and that's the one at Disneyland. Well, I have to eliminate Ariana Grande. Oh shit! Yeah, you have to kill Ariana Grande. Right now, I think of my character. Hmm. Did I do that character yet? No. Wait, maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna say I did that character already. Hmm. Oh. Do you have your character already, Brandon? Yes, yes I do. Yeah, I feel good about this one. Uh, my character is Nikocado Avocado. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> you wanna know who my character is? Who? I'll give you a hint. <coughs> All I heard was a hint. cough after that was silence. A that was a Alright. Uh, I, was, I was about to get ready to say the hint and then I had a cough, so... Uh. <laughs> Hell, you don't care? So serious. <laughs> oh god, a rap battle between Joker and Nikocado Avocado. Dude, I hate that one week where, where it, it just described a rap battle between the two characters. That shit pissed me off so much. <laughs> Well, ChatGPT did get like what? Didn't it get like some update or whatever? I think, I think so. I'm not super certain. All I know is that I'm waiting for Ariana Grande to get her cute ass over here so I could eliminate her with a fucking gun. And uh. I think I'm gonna stop um, using the the term "epic rap battles of history." Yeah, because I think that's what kept fucking it up eventually, even though that used to never be a problem. I'll still say it myself before the rap battle starts, but.
Ariana Grande, where the fuck are you? I'm out here camping, waiting for her to come this way. <laughs> I don't think she appreciates you camping, bro. I'm literally hiding behind a rock. I'm just going this way. What a fucking weirdo, where are you? Honestly, I should probably be more aggressive because I don't have any ARs for the range. Don't tell me you're in a Grande's in a fucking storm. Oh my god, I think she is. If she dies in the storm, do you still get it? I don't know. I don't think I don't think not unless I can tell her to go to the storm. Oh, I hear her. There you are. Get fucking gonked, nerd. Fortnite gameplay. Star Wars weapon. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, there he goes to killing again. Oh, Spillix is still here. It's a uh, Spillix's Can gas not... station. Oh. In Fortnite, of course. Honestly, they should have an Alan Walker event. Is that so? Yeah. <laughs> oh, force pull. Okay. That's what. That's what. This one gives me. Hey, you know what? Bradley, you're wrong. What? Darth Maul does die. I killed him at Disneyland, remember? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he got better? Fuck. Okay. Return to the lobby. What, you dieted? A rap battle between. How do you spell Nico Kato? Is it N I K O? Uh, let me find out. Uh, yeah. N I K O C A C D O. Nico Kato, Avocado. And the Joker. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around for a rap battle showdown. We've got Nico Cotto, Avocado, and the Joker ready to throw down. In this clash of personalities, chaos and food collide. Let's see who will come out on top with their lyrical pride. Nico Cotto Avocado, you're known for your mukbang feast.
But can you handle the Joker's words in his verbal beast? Your food challenges are wild, your appetite immense. But step into this arena and let's see if you have defense. Nikocado, you're a drama filled sensation on YouTube, but you're right. What? I think this is still the. I think this is all still intro. <laughs> And let's see if you've got defense. Nikocado, you're a drama filled sensation on YouTube. But your rhymes ready to be strong or you'll face ridicule. You're all about your indulgence, your channel's full of gluttony, but against the Joker's wickedness, will your flow truly be free? Now here comes the Joker, the prince of chaos unhinged. He thrives on madness and darkness. They rhymed unhinged with intertwined. What? How you? He's a twisted maze with tricks and schemes. Nico Kato, are you ready for this twisted regime? The Joker starts with a laugh, a cackle soul disturbing. He plays with words like he does people's minds, always observing. He rhymes with the venom, his rhythm sharp like a knife. Nico Kato, can you match his... Oh my god, okay. I think I know what's happening, but go on. Nico Kato, can you match his wit with his maniacal life? Nico Kato steps up, the mukbang master in the house. He's got the food, the energy, he's ready to rouse. His, he spins his tales of meals, indulgence at its peak. But will his rhymes be good enough? Against the Joker's second. This is all still intro. <laughs> Uh, I think we're experiencing It's just describing the rap battle. It's not oh even an actual God. rap battle. It's just describing the rap battle. What the hell, Chat GBT? You're doing so well. Oh, let, let me let me let me put uh, let, let 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 me go with old reliable. Epic rap battles of history. Oh no. <laughs> Nico, Nico, Cardo, Avo, Avocado versus the Joker. All right, this is a little better. Oh god, there's a chorus. <laughs> Step in the kitchen, it's time to cook up a feast. Nikocado, avocado, the mukbang beast. I devour food while you play with people's minds, but in this rap battle, it's my time to shine. I'm a YouTube sensation bringing joy to the screen. You're a twisted villain living in a world obscene. I spread love and laughter while you spread chaos and fear, but let me make it clear my rhymes will leave you in tears. Chorus. Nico Avocado, the king of mukbang delight, versus the Joker, the darkness that haunts the night. In this epic rap battle, let's see who takes the crown. But be warned, the Joker. But be warned, Joker, I'll leave you feeling down. Ooh. Ah, Nico Kato, Avocado, such a wonderful display, but your rap skills won't save you from my mind's wicked play. Um, chaos personified in the embodiment of anarchy, I'll tear your, I'll tear apart your rhymes, leave you begging for mercy. You indulge in excess, stuffing your face with food, but your rap lags substance, they're nothing but crude. I'll twist your words and break your flow with a smile. In this rap battle, I'll have you running for miles. I'm gonna skip the chorus to the same shit again. Yeah. You think you're clever, Joker, with your twisted ways, but I'm the master of entertainment, bringing joys for days. You revel in chaos, but I bring people together with my mung base, with my mukbang feast. I'll make you wish you were never. I'll stuff you with food <laughs> until you can't take it anymore. Oh, your God. madness won't save you. It's it, it's me they'll adore. So laugh all you want, Joker, with your twisted grin. But in this rap battle, I'm gonna be the one who wins. Oh wow, didn't even give Joker a second verse. What do you mean you didn't give Joker a second verse? Joker only gets that one verse, that's it. (laughs) (laughs) 
So between Nikocado, Avocados, two lines, and Jokers, one. Uh, who do you think won? I think I might have... I think it's a little unfair that you got two lines to prove what you... Or prove what you could do, and I only got one. You got a point. Uh, I'm going to say Joker wins by default due to Nikocado Avocado cheating and using another verse. But I think Joker was meant to get another verse. Yes, but he didn't. And now it's time for me to make it up. Oh no. Relax, you fat fuck. If you win, it'll be luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not very good at freestyling all the way. I kind of have to pause, think about it, and then come up with my next line. That's fair. Hmm. Hmm. So relax, you fat fuck. If you win it, it'll be. That's honestly just me rap battling at this point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right well here's a two hour and 21 minute fucking podcast bye yeah thanks for watching thanks for watching and remember kids don't do no drugs podcast and we don't in induce uh what oh yeah because i won't be there the bradley won't be there uh I'm, I'm working on getting him there but he just doesn't want to do it <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best. Next time I find a Christian meme, I'll, I'll, I'll post it on my story and see if he changes his mind. By the way, Bradley, did you see my Adam Warlock story? <laughs>